you might have other thoughts about it. All right, so what we're going to also do here is um, uh, set the properties for uh, this tab or controller. So that is a uh, UI uh, IB outlet. Controller. Now, all right, so now the thing is that we did here is we did a retain, and every time we have to do a retain, we also have to do a release. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, and uh, so I just copied that, or copied the variable, at synthesize, paste. And every time you do a properties, you synthesize and you do the re release in the dialog method. I just pasted it and then release. Okay, now the other thing is, is that what I do, and again, you might uh, have different opinions about this, I like to line all these type of uh, variables up so it uh, becomes more readable. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, call a method on the Windows object to add a subview to the window, okay? So add subview, and this requires now a U, notice that this requires a uh, UI view object, okay? So uh, how do we create a UI view object? Well, um, the tab bar controller can generate a, a view for you um, by calling a, the uh, view method on it, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to create, uh, call the um, uh, root tab bar controller and uh, call the view method on it. That will return a UI view that you're going to add to the uh, window. And then we're going to make windows make key and visible. Now it turns out you, could pro you can comment this out. Uh, it'll work both ways. And if you uh, op generate a default tab view control uh, project using Xcode, it will not include this window make key and visible. Um, so I'm wondering what is the best way to do this. I think it's probably better to, uh, to keep that because um, just as my guess. But again, you might have different opinions about it. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, build this, Command B, and, and we have two errors. Oh, semicolon, yeah. It's not, it's not very forgiving to uh, missing semicolons. All right, so we compiled, and uh, now we're going to go back to, I'm going to close this. It's always good to open and close it. Go back to main.nib, <clears throat> and what I want to do now is connect the tab bar controller with the uh, IB outlet that we just created in the app delegate. Now notice that the app delegate now has a reference in its outlets as a root, uh, root tab controller, and because we did, uh, because we did this, and in particular, it's because we did this, plus the synthesize, okay? And the synthesize and the properties also created the getters and setter methods, which is, this is a, uh, a getter method. It got the view of this tab, or, tab uh, bar controller. And, uh, and so sure enough, it is now available. Well, what do we connect this to? Well, this output uh, is going to be connected to the tab bar controller. Uh, let's Command Q to quit and save, and let's uh, just do build and go. What the heck? It's thinking. All right, it came up, and it's taking its sweet time. All right. So here is the tab view controller, which was uh, instantiated and rendered. And, um, uh, but there's no views here. Why is that? Well, uh, because we didn't define any views whatsoever. Okay, um, so of course we don't have any views. So let's work on that. So what are we going to do? Well, uh, we want to generate a web page on when you hit the first tab and a map on the second tab. Okay, so there's no view here. It's empty. So what I want to do now is go to data views. And we're going to add a web view to the first 
tab. Now notice, under the uh, uh, first view controller, there's the web view and the tab bar item. And there's nothing yet under the second one, so we'll go here and also add a map view to this bad boy right now. Okay? Um, but there's nothing to connect to. Um, and uh, the, the, um, the uh, controllers, there's no controller. It's just a generic uh, UI view controller, but there's nothing defined here. So what are we going to assign this to? Well, that's uh, the next step. We're going to go into classes and we can create two new classes two new view controllers for each one of those views. Now normally you could, you could also just create one view controller to, to uh, control both those views, but that I don't think would be a good uh, adherence to the MVC model or the model view controller that uh, Apple emphasizes and uh, a lot of uh, programmers um, uh, think is a good program, program practice. So we're going to create for every view a view controller. All right, so we're gonna create a new file and we're going to select uh, UI view controller. Not, we're not going to include a zib here uh, because it's fairly straightforward. And we're going to call this the, uh, the web uh, view controller. All right. Make sure that the dot H is um, selected. And we're going to create another uh, class called the um, map view controller. We could call it uh, second view controller. You could call it whatever you like, but uh, we're going to call it uh, map view controller. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we just ran out of memory, so I have to restart the um, the video. But uh, so we just created the <coughs> map view, and uh, so uh, under classes, uh, the one other thing we're going to do is a little bit of housekeeping, and this is something you don't have to do, but um, I like to do. Um, I want to arrange these different view controllers um, uh, in a way that reflects the UI schema that you um, that we have. So in the bottom we have the uh, to, to the app delegates, then we have the web, and then the, the map view. You don't have to do this, but um, you can also do this from bottom up or top down. I, I like to um, stack my views in, the, in a similar fashion and how you would. Um, uh, uh, stack a, uh, a deck of cards. So for, assume you have your hand out and you put a, 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 a playing card on your hand face up as a view and then you can add other views on top of it or then remove views. And um, so I, I like to arrange my, my UI controllers, view controllers in, in this manner. All right, so uh, again, that's just a personal preference, but you might have other thoughts about that. All right, now let's go back to uh, the main uh, uh, zip file. And uh, notice that the tab bar controller, <clears throat> uh, we have the two views here. And what we're going to do is we're going to now associate the, or tie those views to our views that we just created here. And the way you do that, you go to uh, the first view controller and you type in uh, web view controller. Okay, uh, same thing with the map view controller, put in uh, map view controller. All right, so now we have the uh, web view and map view under their respective view controllers, but there's nothing uh, that we can tie that to. So for example, in the connections, there's nothing we can tie the, the web view um, uh, to any outlets. So we have to create those outlets, which we will do next. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, Command-Q, which saves and quits interface controller. 